Okay, whatever. contradictory. Oh, it is. Oh, no. Okay. Hello. Thank you. I love my fursuits, too. <laughs> I'm, like, extra bald today, and I apologize for that. You can't see right now, but I'm cutting out fur, or not not cutting out fur, I'm tracing fur right now. I'm tracing patterns. Then I'm going to cut out fur, then I'm going to sew fur, and, and so on and so forth. I'm making a fursuit, essentially. You're almost done with your first shoot. That's exciting. I just finished one today. Let me get it. I worked on it on my last stream. I don't know. Oh, she's all packed up. Never mind. I'm not gonna get her out for that. Ugh. But I finished a first shoot today, and it was a commission, and I'm very proud of it. She turned out really good. Did I do that already? Or not? I apologize if I'm not looking at the chat all the time. I was streaming on Instagram before, but Instagram is boring. I was listening to music before, and now it feels so, like, like, quiet. Let's see if I can put it on and not get copyright striked. Stroke? Strikeded. <laughs> Hi, I love you. Hi, I love you, too. Uh, let's put on this. It's the world sun. Oh, why is it now? y'all can even hear the music, but just so it's not so silent for me anymore. Where does this go? Is it this way? Oh, that's inconvenient. Where does this even go? Oh, it's up there. people saying it's 11 at night there i'm sorry how did those stars work out for you the stars oh they worked out actually really wonderfully i would get her out of the bag and show y'all how that suit turned out turns out that um i didn't use as much glue as i thought on the back of the ear so i could just cut it out instead of top stitching it on top uh can it stay on what time is it here oh it's 9 30 Not too late. But it's also Friday, right? Yeah, it's Friday. So, like, y'all are in school or y'all don't have school. This one, 
this suit is a rush commission for MFF. So if any of y'all are going to MFF, you'll see this suit there. Doesn't look like much right now, it's just a foam base, but um, uh, yeah. Like I said, if you go into MFF, you'll see this suit. I'm like trying to get all my fursuit commissions done, um, well, because they just should be done, but also I had a job interview today and I can't do both fursuit making, at least commissions, and have a job. It just doesn't work out. Pieces? Yes. I always have to read the horns, but not the ears for you. Anyway. Oh, my foot's asleep. Hello. I learned the beginning of Black Parade on ukulele. I know the beginning. It's the first note. Oh, my ukulele's not over here anymore. I'm sure I could figure it out, though, because it's just a series of notes. That starts with a G. I learned Time Adventure recently, and it's all I've been playing because it's such a pretty song. Alright, I think that's all the fur. Y'all missed me shaving, but on with my last suit I made, or two suits ago technically, uh, on my, I shaved, I sewed her together and then shaved her, and she's, like, kind of choppy, and so I figured out that if you shave first, it looks way better. Like, that's so smooth. I wish I did that with all my, I actually, eventually, when I have money again, I want to commission a full suit of her from Batitude. I feel like she'd look really good from Batitude. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to the store tomorrow. I think for my fursuit items, such as wait, make fursuits, I don't need to say anything. Okay. Alright, now I have the tedious task of cutting all these out. What I'm gonna do, just to make this look bulky, I'm just gonna... I don't recommend doing this, by the way. Don't, don't do what I'm doing. Do I have amino? Technically, yes, but I don't use it. Because amino is toxic. It's a super toxic community that I don't condone. I'm sure there's someone stealing my art on there. Happens all the time. Like I said, I don't recommend doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm just kind of chopping all the pieces out into one big piece, like this. I don't recommend doing that. It like ruins, like you see, all, like the edges of my fur are all messed up now. But I don't care about that. <laughs> so if you don't care about your fur, go ahead and do it. The only reason I'm doing that and, and I don't care is because I accidentally ordered uh, way too much of that fur and I don't need any more of it. Only six watching, there's eight watching. That's weird, usually I have like 20 watching. I guess because it's um, Friday night, people are out having fun, not watching some rando make a fursuit on stream. It's also I didn't advertise it on my Instagram, so that might be part of it too. I know you all see what I'm doing, I just don't know how. I haven't been here a long time, gross. Let's see if I can do this and then hold it up with a water bottle. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. Let me try to do it without making it fall over. Can I see what you have so far on the first suit head? It's just this. And I have some of the fur cut out. 
but he's super cute. I love him. This was originally going to be a pre-made, but I decided to use the foam base for this commission because I think it would suit it way better. This is like my favorite base I've ever made. He's so cute. This is going to be Ajax. That's the character's name. He's really cool. Dave here. I don't know who that is. What are people saying? I'm making a duchy at the moment. Stardust. Fun. I've made I made a duchy before. She turned out super cute. She was a pink one eight duchy. Unfortunately, a nasty person uh, owns it now. I hope y'all have all seen my recent video because I put a lot of time into that video. And if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it when I'm done streaming. Or you can go watch it now and then come back because I'll still be streaming once you're done finishing watching it. By the way, I don't recommend cutting fur unless you know how to cut it properly. I mean, cutting fur with scissors unless you know how to cut it properly. Um, this is really short pile fur, so it doesn't matter either way, but I'm like long pile fur. I don't recommend cutting it with scissors unless you know what you're doing, which I do. I'm lucky that most of this head is short pile fur, so I don't have to worry about shaving, like, any of it. I just had to shave the spots on the face, which I already did, and then the ears, but I won't do those until I'm, like, until I do the neck, really. Because I, I like to sew on the ears rather than glue them onto the foam base. It just looks better that way, to me. And usually you can achieve really nice wiggly ears.
I'm sorry, I haven't seen what's going on in the comments. You're bad at making fursuit heads? No one's bad at it, you're just amateur. I want food, tell me what to eat. Um, I don't know, don't ask me that question. I don't even know what to eat half the time myself, so I don't. That's fine. Just have milk or something. I can't have milk. Well, technically I can if I want to. It's just I suffer later. Plus milk's just disgusting in general. I'm lactose intolerant. I really want to get this head done, like, as soon as possible, like, in a week, if possible, which is possible. I got Amai done, and she has all those dreads. I mean, she's technically not done yet, because I need, like, she still has, like, she still has, oh, hold on, they just keep coming. Oh, there's more. <laughs> she's, oh, no, there's more. She has this many dreads left that I need to like sew together, um, that I, of, of all the fleece that I have right now, and then I need to add more fleece on top of that so she has a full head of hair, which sucks. Um, fun fact, I don't know, I don't know if any of you have this experience, but I do. Whenever, like, say I'm doing something while, like, watching a show, if, like, I, this is so weird, but, like, if I touch something or if I see something that, like, I worked on during watching that show, I'll remember, like, exactly when I was at that show. So, like, uh, or, like, like when I was cutting these out, I was, uh, I was watching, um, Dragon Pilot on Netflix, and, which is a really, really cute anime. I recommend you watch it if you like anime, that is. Um, and I was watching Dragon Pilot, and while I was cutting these out, I was watching the ending of it, and, which I'm not gonna say, just in case spoils but um yeah i remember getting like so like i don't know but it was also like 4 a.m that's when my sleep schedule was like really bad and he'd streamed that night too that streams up on my channel what are people saying uh, one time I bought a fursuit head and it was a scam. That sucks. I've been scammed twice. Where is... There's people saying hi. Uh-oh. Hope I didn't cut anything. No, I didn't. but like the sound of like cutting fabric like all the scissors are against the table like this is like one of my favorite sounds which correspond to pieces on the face, which is like the best way to do things. Oh, 
Also, I don't recommend patterning only half your heads until you're confident that your base work is symmetrical. Like this, this is, is like pretty symmetrical. Like there's a, only a couple places where it's not like, you know, exact. So like, I can, Jesus, I can get away with um, only taping up half of the head. I've never had an issue with it. Uh, not since my base work has been good, at least. In the past, I have, when, my, when I should have taped up both sides. And there's nothing wrong with taping up both sides. I just prefer not to because it's just more work. And I like to do things with like the least amount of effort possible. But like still a good product, if that makes any sense. I'm sure it does. You have chips, I'm proud of you. Get a piece of styrofoam. Oh, I guess this I don't need right now. I have so many, like, so much garbage on my desk. Oh, I need this. I need to, like, clean up. Oh, crow food. I can throw that away. The crows don't come right now. What's this? It's a star. This is probably one of my failed stars from when I was doing What's Your Face? What did you do? I just finished writing a song and I found this and. The first thing I heard was, you found chips, I'm proud of you. Yeah. I don't feel like making a fursuit head, but that's a mood. I actually, I, cause once I finished um, Terabyte, which was a commission I just finished, um, I was like, okay, time to take a break and watch some YouTube and eat some food. So I had some food and um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna stop here for the night. And I was like, oh, it's only eight. I was like, I might as well keep going. And I was actually watching old furry vine comps which is where i got my start so of course like i was feeling hecka nostalgic and so i was like all right i'm gonna work on fursuit some more because surprisingly i don't have a migraine right now and i didn't take any pain meds today so like i'm really proud of my body right now for not rebelling against itself <laughs> Awesome. That's the face cut out. Um, now time to sew it together, which I'm going to- Oh! <laughs> I like when the scissors go crunch. Yeah, I was saying that. I just like one of my favorite sounds. Yay, delicious. Ex also, excuse my busted lip. That's because I had a, um, histamine reaction in my mouth from God knows what. I didn't eat anything new yesterday. And my, my lip swelled up to the point where my lip burst. Isn't that fun? I also couldn't feel my tongue for like an hour. <laughs> Just don't eat food. Moral of the story. Uh, okay, let's start with the eyebrows, because that's what I started cutting out. Um, do I want to start with the eyebrows? Or, you know what, I'm going to sew all the lefts first. Just so I have that out of the way, and then I can just assemble everything. No, there's no left there. No, no. Yes. Yes, yes, no, no, okay, these dreads need to get out of the way. Oh look, there's like a half-sewn dread. The lost cause. Okay, I want to see these in these. I know I will. Oh, and this, this suit is going to have follow me eyes just because when it was going to be a pre-made, I cut out follow me eyes for it and I patterned it to have follow me eyes and I don't want them to go to waste. Come on. 
I don't know where the other one is. So maybe they did go to waste. Oh, I have one. Oh, but I don't... See, I have an extra cup here, but I don't want to cut out a whole new thing because that's a lot of work. Um, that involves, like, nearly slicing my fingers off, like, a lot. Where's the other one? Because the way this head is shaped, it doesn't... It won't do well with, uh... Flat eyes. Oh, there it is. Ugh! Close up on my neck. How'd you like that, you weirdos? There we go. Eye cups. Um, oh yeah. Just collecting the wefts. Wow, 90% of these pieces have wefts. Uh, here's the stack of pieces that don't have wefts. And here's the stack of pieces that do. <laughs> Alright. Who's, why am I getting notifications on Instagram? Oh. Okay, what are people saying to me? Bug got in a fight with himself, and that's how he busted a lip. No, I didn't. I, well, actually, I guess you could say that's what happened, because my body overreacted to something, and my lip literally exploded because they're so chapped. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Right, sewing. Where's my needle? Uh, I'll sew these with black thread. No, it's almost white bread. They'll be able to see it. Totally missed this question. What? Did someone... I know this is off top topic, but I'm doing a mohawk on my first one. I have no idea what's more hair like. Foam with fur, stuffing, and fur. S uh, stuffing and um, pattern the fur so it goes into here. You know what? I'm busting her out. Because the fur I used on her, it, it is so amazing for mohawks. Hold up. Hello, baby Goyo. You're out of your prison. Okay. This is the commission I finished today. Look how adorable she is. Oh, where's her tongue? Where's her tongue? Oh. She's so precious. I love her so much. So, she is a mohawk. And it looks incredible. Um, you can see... This is just... Th there's no stuffing in here. But, um... It's just the fur pattern towards each other. And then this hair poof is... It's, it's stuffing. And then I just sewed it on. And then she's got a third eye up there. Oh, she turned out so precious. I love her so much. She also has a pickable nose. It's not my best pickable nose because it was an afterthought. Well, this one, this one's going to be, like, my best pickable nose because it's going to both go this way. So you can go this way and, like, in. And my pickable nose is you can also go this way. Um... Let me put her back in her trash bag. Back in, back into your prison until you get sent to your your parent. Her eyes also glow in the dark, and that's like my favorite thing ever. It was like a complete afterthought because I needed to seal the paint, and the only thing I had near me was um, glow in the dark paint. And she's an alien cat, so I was like, oh, what else? You know, that's so perfect. There you go, in your prison. Also, peep on my ear. I love her so much. I'm bringing her over here. I gave her an old earring for a tongue ring. I wish I was good at making furry heads. Do it for three years and you will. <laughs> Where's your other tongue? I don't know where her other tongue is. It was here. Oh, earrings. These are these are Kiku's earrings. I know that they won't stay. Oh my god, maybe they will. <gasps> They're just staying because of, like, they're hooked on, not because, like, they, they wouldn't stay if I shook the head, but she got hoops! Oh, boy! Cute. Okay, um, where's my needle? Here's my needle. Let's start with the eyebrows. You know what, I'm gonna pair these up into... Their pieces six six nine nine three three and seven seven okay we'll go in order 
less, less, and then that has more, less. I don't know why I'm, like, so, like, zazz right now. I was, like, shaking before when I was, like, doing my Instagram stream, and I have no idea why. I haven't really had, I haven't had any caffeine. I mean, I have my, ugh! Another close-up on my neck. I have my Santal right now, but, like. I don't think there's caffeine. It's just like sparkly juice. It doesn't say anything about caffeine, so I assume not. Because that would be false advertising. What are people saying to me? Bog, rate my baby boy Gabe. I don't know how I'd rate your baby boy Gabe. How long are you going to stream? Just asking as long as I want to. Makes for a suit while watching you make for a suit. That's the only way to do it. He a corgi and a long weasel tail. Sounds like a good boy. I'm a sucker for long tails. Amei is gonna have a massive tail. The only reason I haven't made her tail yet is because I don't have any uh, more of that like brown paper. And that's what I used to pattern big tails. Except for this one. This one I just like made on a whim, which is right now my biggest tail. Amei's isn't gonna be quite this big. Actually, it might be. It might be about this big. It might be a little bit bigger actually because it'll be thicker. It'll be about this thick all the way down. And it'll be so fluffy. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this this one I just made on a whim. I literally just laid out my, um, my gray minky and then just traced out, like I just drew like the tail shape and then folded it in half and cut it out so they were even. And then just, I don't even know how I made this. I don't remember. It was like, I blacked out, and then when I woke up, I had a tail. Is it a possum tail? Yes, it is. And, fun fact, I say this like every stream, but if you want to make a rat tail or possum tail that looks gross and lumpy, use old polyfill. Because old polyfill is gross and lumpy, so you won't get a smooth look. And it just, oh my god, it looks so gross, and I love it. Just like, look at that. Because it wouldn't be, like, smooth, because it's flesh. And plus, I didn't want to, like, just, like, sew in segments. It would take so long. Also, I love this fur. It's, it's the, like, a super rare fur, apparently. I found it at Joanne's two years ago. I bought two and a half yards of it, and I never found a use for it. It was supposed to be for a pre-made of a base I was getting in the trade, but then the person canceled. And it's, like, it, it, um, it looks gray on camera, but it's green underneath with white tip. And it's so soft! <coughs> I love it so much! Okay. Back over there. Um, I'm sewing. Did I tie a knot? I did. Ugh, my hands feel sticky. I don't know why. Casually verbs, yeah. Who wouldn't? Apparently, it's like not a normal thing to just like burp in the middle of a sentence. But like, who doesn't do that? <laughs> I did it in my most recent video too with Amai. I killed a bug today. Sorry, mate. That's okay. I kill bugs too all the time actually because there's ants in my room and like little tiny, tiny flies. So I kill them literally all the time. But it's okay. Because my spider isn't doing a good job. I have a spider in the corner of my room. And I love her so much. But lately, she hasn't been doing her job. I mean, she 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 cleared up my silverfish problem. Which, oh my god, I hate silverfish so much. Like, they're, oh my god, they're the worst things ever. Because when you squish them, they look like they're going to crunch. But they don't. And, oh, it's the worst thing ever. I'm currently making a suit so hard. No, it's not. It's only hard because you're making it hard. That's what she said. But, like, it's only hard because you're, you know, like, it's like it's like when you draw hands. It, drawing hands is only hard if you make it hard on yourself. You know? Like, with me, like, I hate making suits, but, like, when I get in the zone, I get in the zone. Auto zone. So, like, you know... I just kind of like die and then when I come back to life I have like 17 fursuits made. That's a lie. I have like one. But like like I remember when I when after my sister left, 
um, she was here in August, and I, like, I got in, like, a groove, and it was, it was crazy. I got, like, seven commissions done. They were all part commissions, but I, I, I got, like, seven commissions done in, like, like, a week. It was crazy. I have one part commission left, and I'm dreading it because it's, it's puppy paws that are made out of minky, which means I have absolutely no room for error. Uh, did I just tie that off? I think I did. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, but then after this head, I have one head commission left, and then my queue is cleared, and I'm so excited to have my queue cleared, because I haven't had a clear queue in literally, like, two and a half years, and that's, like, like, while it's sad that I don't have, like, any commissions, which means I'm not making any money, that means I can make whatever I want with no regrets, and I love that. I love that idea because when I started making all my my commissioners were like, I got my suit and I was like, I'm doing it. I promise. I'm just doing this because it's the weekend, which is true. I made it all my in a weekend. I spelled auto wrong. I'm sorry. I'm dyslexic. That's a mood. Since I've been out of school, um, I like have forgotten how to write. It's crazy. I used to be so good at like spelling and stuff, but like my cuz I, you know, would write every day in school, so my dyslexia wasn't bad. But like now that I'm out of school and I haven't like been in school and like haven't like, you know, practically written in like a, almost 2 years now, <laughs> I've like forgotten how to write English. Plus I'm learning Japanese, which is learning a whole new alphabet. So like when I'm writing like the translations of things I'm learning in Japanese, it's like barely, it's barely legible. It's crazy. <sighs> is it normal for my chicken to bark? Depends on what kind of chicken it is. If it's a chicken with a crest, then yeah. Meaning like a cockatoo. Depends on what your definition of a chicken is. I'm cheap, so I can't get the... You know, you can't be, honestly, you can't be cheap if you want a nice fursuit. Um, my first fursuit I, that I made cost, let's see, $200 to the blank. Right? Yeah, $200. $200 to the blank. $6 to the foam. $40 for the white fur. I think... $13 to the hot pads. I don't know. It was like 200 and maybe 300 and something dollars. That's how much my first fursuit head cost. Um, my first full suit cost $2,200, but that was, well, actually, technically, my first full suit cost $300, but we don't talk about that. I think I'm starting to, I'm, I think starting a Patreon will help me go to my first fur con. As long as you're not just taking people's money as long as you're giving people stuff in return for them giving you money which is why i don't like doing um, i don't have a patreon okay i'm a furry and was wondering what the average fursuit costs <laughs> funny i was just talking about that um it depends uh if you make it yourself a couple hundred dollars um if you commission it a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars um Bottom line is, you can't get a fursuit for under, I don't know, $200. Um, the only way you could is if you were really cheap with it and, like, got everything at Joann's. And, which you can do. Like, there, Joann's does have good fur sometimes. I mean, like I said, the, the green fur on my possum tail is from Joann's. I actually have some really nice Mongolian up there that's going to be for the possum's hair. Um, I think it's kind of an artist thing to do to just hate your job 90% of the time, but that 10% is so worth it. Yeah, that's a mood. Um, like, I hate making fursuits 90% of the time just because it's so messy. And, like, I feel like I can never, like, I, like, first off, I don't have enough space anymore because I have so much fur. But, like, I feel like I can just never get away from the fur and that, that makes me hate it so much because, like, I'm always covered. It's like, I have like a nice thin coating on the inside of my lungs. I mean, my, my room has a, has a heavy coating of fur. Like, 90% of my wardrobe is black, so 90% of my clothes are covered in, you know, green and white and 
blue fur, which it's like, I, if I just had black and white fur, I could just be like, oh, it's my dog, or oh, it's my cat. But if it's green, or blue, or yellow, or hot pink, I can't. I'm laying in bed with one of my cats. I should be working on my suit. I'm not working on anything because I'm poor. That's a mood. Fun fact, I'm also poor. I'm probably poorer than, I'm, or, or as, is it raining? Is it raining? Hold on. I gotta find out. Because if it is, um, then God has blessed us. And by us, I mean me. I live in Southern California. Can y'all hear that? It is pouring! Oh my god. It is pouring out there. You look so happy about rain. Yes, I live in Southern California. We don't get that here. The last time it rained, it like sprinkled for like 10 minutes and that was it. Oh, I love it so much. Rain is literally my favorite weather. I love it. What would I do and have to start a Patreon? I don't know. I don't have Patreon. I don't have Patreon because, I, first off, I, don't, I feel like no one would support it. Because no one supports- see, I gauge it off of my coffee. If no one supports my coffee, no one's gonna support my Patreon. Um, I've had people tell me they'd support my Patreon, but if they don't support my coffee, then they won't support my Patreon. So, Oh, I love it. Sorry. Um, but also, I feel like I, I have really nothing to give to people, like, other than, like, exclusive whip pictures from, like, fursuit making and, like, maybe, like, exclusive art, but I also feel like I wouldn't do the art because I hate drawing furries. Fun fact about me, I absolutely hate drawing furries. Oh, I love the rain so much. Sorry. It, it hasn't rained, like, proper rained in, like, uh, oh, pro er earlier this year, I think, is the last time it proper rained, which caused mudslides after the Thomas fire, which sucked because so many people died. Oh, I love it so much. This makes me want soup, but it's like too late to get soup. Plus, I don't have money. I have literally 79 cents. <laughs> that's true, by the way. I literally have, I mean, technically I have 20 something dollars right now, but that's for shipping the, the commission I finished. What do you get out of making fursuits if you know you don't like drawing furries and you don't like the process of fursuit making? Oh, I love fursuit making, but I hate the mess. I just say I hate fursuit making because it's so messy. And you know, I do hate drawing furries, but I do like drawing furries sometimes. Like, I've been drawing Ame and Lily so much because I've just made it canon that they are dating. <laughs> so, like, I do like drawing furries if I'm in the mood to draw furries, but if I'm... See, like, here's the thing. If I'm not in the mood to draw furries, then I cannot draw them and I will not draw them whatsoever. But even if I'm not in the mood to draw humans, I can draw humans anytime. So, like, I don't know. I have no problem with drawing humans any time of, of the day. But when you hate drawing furries, but you like drawing furries, so you make fursuits, but you hate, but you say you hate drawing, hate fursuits when you don't. Exactly. You just have to be at the most complex you can. <laughs> like, I really do like making fursuits. It makes me so happy to see people happy that their character comes to life. Like, Cause I've, I've like, cause I've made my own fursuit before, but it didn't hit me that like it was my fursuit until I saw it on my, on my sister. And I was like, that video is up on my channel, by the way, um, my sister wearing Lily and it didn't hit me that that was like my character come to life until my sister was wearing her. And I was like flabbergasted. I was like, oh my God, there's Lily standing right there. Oh my God. Cause usually I'm the one wearing her. So it didn't really like occur to me that like. Yeah, I don't know. I I love fursuits so much. I can't wait for my full suit 
to to come. It was supposed to be done this month, which I don't actually technically it was supposed to be done in August, but then they said December or not December September, and then they said October. But I don't think so. I mean, I don't I don't mind. I don't have anything going on that I need a fur suit for. I just want one. I can't wait because I I haven't had a full suit that like fits nicely, and I have a feeling that this one will. Because when I when I did the duct tape dummy for it, I did most of it myself, which means it was stretched out a little bit, which means it's going to be a little bit bigger. Plus, they bulked it out first, too, so it's going to be bigger on me. Oh, I'm just... And plus, I'm going to be making Ami a full suit as soon as I finish my queue and as soon as I get my duct tape dummy, duct tape dummy back. And I'm going to be making Flem, which is the possum, uh, I'm going to make his full suit as soon as I get my duct tape dummy back, which is extra exciting. But he's only going to be like a body, he's only going to be like, because I'm not going to have his head yet. Because I'm waiting on someone to open up their uh, phone base commissions to make his head. Because I tried to make his phone base and it didn't work out. Also I got my braces off, oh get my braces off in December. That's exciting! I had braces, it was the worst thing ever. I actually didn't have braces for that long, however I had a palette expander from third grade to sixth grade and then I didn't have anything in my mouth for like eight months and then uh, I had braces from seventh grade to ninth grade yeah I got them out right before I moved out here and like it was the best thing ever because I was like I don't have to put anything on my teeth no more and then I got my retainer and it sucked because when I had my retainer on because I was like oh I don't want my teeth to be crooked again so I put my retainer in, and the first night I wore it, it gave me an underbite again. So I was like, nope, not wearing my retainer. I literally threw it in the garbage. I, you know, my, I had, you know, metal in my mouth for, from third grade to ninth grade. So I wouldn't have an underbite. And as soon as I get them off and put a, more metal in my mouth, it gives me an underbite again? No, thank you. And my teeth are still fine. You know, they're not, they're not crooked or anything. I have a tiny gap in my two front teeth, but like nothing crazy. Was that thunder? In the far off distance? See, I live right next to the water, so if there's thunder, it's like way out there. Probably. What are people saying? I'm sorry. I just went on a rant about braces. He's gonna look so sickly. Who is? Is he gonna look sickly? Oh, Flem! Yes, he's gonna have snot and everything. That's why I can do art, it's just a job. I only do art when I feel like it, which is never, that's a mood. I can't do art as a job because no one commissions me enough. My older sister doesn't like furries and I'm a furry, so if I ever tell her, let's just hope she doesn't disown me. My sister hates furries, um, until, it's actually funny, my sister hated furries and, like, she works at Disney and she was like, no, it's different being a fur character at Disney because you're a character. And I was like... Yeah, that's what being a furry is. You're just, it's your own character instead of a character from someone else's mind. She said, no, it's different. Because it's, it's actually from something. It's like, okay. And then, um, and then I put her in a fursuit and then she goes, okay, no, it's the exact same except comfier because, like, uh, she's a fur character now. She does Pluto and Buzz Lightyear. Um, and, uh, like the padding on uh the padding on like animal suits like digi suits at disney like say like timon or um like judy hops or uh nick wilde they're the padding on them it's just like extra fabric so it's like not as comfy because it's like thick and like i don't know it's just like a lot but also nick wilde's tail it's the it has really really beautiful movement and it's like oh it's it like sticks straight out and it wags perfectly and it bounces too it's like so perfect but the only reason it's like that is because it's a metal rod <laughs> so it's not nearly as comfortable as like a fursuit would be plus it's like way hotter and like instead of you know it being a head on your you know face it's like it's like a big helmet thing yeah anyway what are people saying my IRL friend knows I'm a furry, and they say, now I can say I'm friends with a furry, and I'm just like, well, rip my reputation. Who cares? I have a friend in Southern Cali, and they're in, like, middle school, and apparently 
they were reined in, and a bunch of kids, she was around, were really freaked out by the thunder. Yeah, it doesn't rain here. Bug sister hates on furries, bug what? No, I mean, she hated furries for like 20 minutes, and then I put her in my fursuit, and she goes, I love it! <laughs> she actually made a fursona when we were in Hawaii uh, last year, two years ago. It's a bunny. It's a bunny ballerina. Actually, it's a bunny who wants to be a ballerina, but she can't because her feet are too big. Her name is... Um, not Peanut. What is it? Penny. That's her name. She's like a light brown bunny that always wears pink. I have a GF who hates furries. She knows I'm a furry. And from here and there, she teases me for being a furry. I mean, who cares? Honestly. I wore my first suit to school on Halloween. Um the first year I made her, because I made her, I finished her October 27th, 2015, and I wore her to school, and someone was like, oh, it's a furry, and I was like, yeah, okay, but, like, at the same time, it was a skull suit, so, like, I could, I could totally, I mean, like, if it was a regular fur suit, I could still get away with it on, on, um, Halloween, but, like, no one, no one cared because it was a skull like suit. So like no one was like it's furry. It was just like well that's cool because the jaw moved so well because I had her like fit it like directly to my face because I I um, patted her and like squished the resin so she like and oh she just fit so well. I actually really want a skull suit again for that reason. I love the moving jaw. Blurby, which is city mutt fur suits, is making a really rad one right now. They have, they made, like, took a skull base and then took a foam base, like, foam realistic base from, um, uh, Clockwork Creatures, and they fit it on top. So it looks so cool. And my fursona, which is Aspen, and my characters are cool. I have my fursonas, which are, um, uh, Amai, Lily, Damien, Kikwi, Flem, Junebug, and I guess Bruno. Bruno's for sale right now, but no one's buying him. But also, like, I never, like, really detached from him. So, like, you know, Bruno's in there. Then I have my characters, uh, Rex, Limbo, Harley, and Weevil. I think that's all of them. I actually do have more characters than that. I just don't have them on my Instagram. Like, I there's, um, Tiki, which is a shrimp, shrimp dog thing i don't know i plan on making him into a um a uh what is it called pre-made but i just never got around to it how much is bruno he's 450 and he comes with the character rights and so he has all the art as well however uh if you're under 18 you don't get all of his art because he has nsfw art and if you're under 18 obviously i'm not going to give that to you Plus, I'm just hesitant in general of selling to someone under 18, just because someone I know literally just got scammed, and it's, like, so messed up because kids steal their parents' credit cards all the time. How do I tell my parents that you're a furry? Just tell them. There's a guy at my school that just openly admits to watching Yip and Hentai, and no one really teases him or bothers him about it. Yeah, I don't kink shame. Who cares? I love you, I love you too. Oh, the Duolingo owl is bothering me. Busy. Doing fursuit stuff. I haven't done my lessons in two days, so I'm sure it's gonna come murder my family. <sighs> BRB? Okay. Y'all don't need to say when y'all are gonna BRB. I don't care. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> All the rain passed. It sounds like it's moving. Sounds like it's mov moving east. Can't quite tell. I'm pretty deaf. Whoa! Do you see that? There's like a piece of fur in front of the camera. Where is it? Oh, I see it. It's right here. Hate me because I look like Job of the Hut right now. That's a move. I always look like Jabba the Hutt.
Because, like, have you seen my jawline? Because neither have I. <laughs> Were you making? I'm making a commission called Ajax. He's really fun. He's got cute horns, which here's the pattern for them. No, no, you don't. Uh, yes, I do. Like I said, have you seen my jawline? Cause me. Whoa, you see the veins on my neck? Whoa, do you see that? Am I dying? <laughs> oh, that really accentuates my non jawline. Do you see the veins on my neck? That's crazy. Do I have it on this side? Probably. Ew. My veins are like crazy. Like, um, I'm so pale that you can probably not. But you can see oh wait. No, you can't. Um, in the right in the right um lighting, you can see the veins uh coming out from my heart. <laughs> it's crazy. On my ribs, they're really crazy. That's such a sass name. What? How come people don't sew the fabric for the nose to the rest of the fur on the face? I do. What are you talking about? This is, this is sewn on. Um, this suit, which was a one night commission, um, oh god, I can't see. Her nose wasn't sewn on, so I sewed it on. I actually, I'm gonna, cause her mouth isn't sewn here either. I'm gonna sew all this. I'm gonna sew her mouth down here. Her horns aren't sewn on. I plan on sewing them on. And her hair poof is glued on as well, which I plan on fully chopping it off and and re-putting it back on. Actually, I might make her a new hair poof that's slightly bigger. But, um, yeah. Love her so much. Hey, baby girl. I always give you for suit lots of smooches. They deserve it. Okay. What was I doing? Ajax. It's so sass. I guess so. Just reminds me of soap. It's, it's a type of... Dish soap. Ajax. It's like dollar store soap. Not not that he's dollar store soap. He's great. But like, that's just a brand of soap. Okay. Also, I'm sure y'all... I'm surprised... I'm surprised, like... I mean, I guess I'm not popular enough for people to send me screenshots of my ugly face for my videos but like i'm sure y'all have caught me moments caught nope that's not how english works caught moments of my concentration face or even like other faces i make while i'm making stuff because i make i make like the ugliest faces when i'm making stuff like i don't i have no idea why like because i already have like quite a small mouth but like when i work on stuff it just inverts into my body into the void <laughs> just no more mouth uh yeah i'll work on three now oh ew oh i hate that noise I've seen a bunch of people who do it separate, then glue fleece around it, and it looks really lazy. I agree. I actually really hate when people do that. Um, I also hate when people glue eyebrows on. I mean, I'm guilty for gluing on whisker spots, because it's always an afterthought for me. Um, but, like, it's not hard to sew on or sew in. Same with teeth. I hate when people glue teeth in. Like, Kiki's teeth are glued in and it makes me so angry. I'm probably gonna redo her whole mouth and, like, line it with, like, green. Um, I just- I'm gonna save her tongue, though, because I don't have her tongue color. And then I'm gonna give her, like, full-on choppers and, like, give her molars in the back. I just saw a, a big brother slap his baby sister on TV. Honestly, a mood. If I was a big brother, I would do that all the time. No, I wouldn't. That's child abuse, but, like... <laughs> I recently adopted a, a Dutch angel dragon named Speckles. I can't wait to get it made into a fursuit. But it'll take forever, though, because I got no money. I hate being broke. Haha, <laughs> that's a mood. Fun fact, I paid off a $3,000 fursuit while being broke. No job. My only income was fursuits, and I paid off a $3,000 fursuit. That's because I, pay I sold two full suits and took on two commissions. Um... But I've completely, like, I, I was making bank at the beginning of the year. 
um, and like over the summer and now I'm like nothing um, I don't have any income anymore and it sucks which is why I had a job interview today <laughs> it's like I've had 70, 79 cents for too long to the point where it's like okay I need a job because like I can handle 79 cents for like a week and then you know get some art commissions which actually happened but I wasn't getting enough art commissions or I wasn't getting any suit commissions to the point where like I can be like okay well I have money now which is why I actually started pulling Bruno because I needed money because I need to sustain myself and uh, I have bills to pay how much are your first suit heads I don't take suit commissions sorry and I only I only do commissions with um, uh, people 18 plus now which is like none of the people in my stream so I apologize Although my, my, for whatever reason, my YouTube demographic says people 18 to 25. So, like, I don't believe that. <laughs> All right. Three more pieces. Uh, I shaved my head yesterday. It feels like I have like a piece of hair stuck like right here. I wish I could get Gabe and Lavender made by you. It's gonna be 26 this year in November. You're probably my oldest viewer I've ever had. <laughs> At least on stream. Because usually people are either my age or younger. I don't know. Alright. I shaved fur earlier today, and I can feel it all in my throat. And by earlier today, I mean like an hour ago. Can you show progress? I'm just sewing right now. There's no progress right now. I'm, I'm curious. How old do you guys think I am? Because I don't think I've ever said it explicitly. Based on my face, how old do you think I am? 20 to 17. That's not how ages work. You mean 17 to 20. 16. That's a new one. Uh, how many digits is that? 20, 21? 21, 19 to 20. Yeah, most of y'all are right. 18. No. People usually think I'm a lot older than I am. Um, maybe it's because now that I've shaved my head and there's no secrets to hide anymore. <laughs> you said you got out of school like two years ago, but I also dropped out of school, so you never know. Um, I'm 19, turning 20 in December. So most of y'all were right. Or ballpark range, right, at least. Not quite, I mean, I'm, I'm like half legal. Cause like, I'm legal for like a lot of things. I can like vote, but I can't buy cigarettes and I can't buy alcohol or vape. I can drive though, but like that's 16. So it's like, or actually, yeah, 16 in, in uh, California. I think the only like adult thing I can do is vote. <laughs> Right? Yeah, because I can't buy cigarettes and I can't buy alcohol. <laughs> Which I wish I could. Not alcohol, but cigarettes. Don't be a bad person, kids. Don't be like me. I can feel fur like right here, like on my eyelashes. I am the gayest gay to ever gay in the universe of gays. I don't think so. I think that's me. Oh God. Oh no. <gasps> I just dropped my needle on the carpet. Oh, I see it. Okay, that was a lot less dramatic than uh, 
I thought he was going to. You want to fight? I'll win. So, like, no, I don't want to hurt someone. That'll ruin my reputation. Unless, like, you want to make it, like, a pay-per-view, like, boxing match. Make, like, millions of dollars out of it. Then let's do it. Pursuit making sense comparable to working in a coal mine. Not at all. It's not, like, physical labor at all. Any gay you can gay, I can be gayer. I can be way gayer than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you okay, we're not going to do that. Oh, my jaw hurts. Fun fact, just for when your wisdom teeth grow in and you want to be terrified, um, one of the pains that uh, people can get when having a heart attack is actually jaw pain. So, uh, isn't that fun? <laughs> Usually it's like shoulder pain or chest pain or even stomach pain, um, but uh, you can also get jaw pain. So when your wisdom teeth start growing in, get ready. <laughs> you might think that you're having a heart attack. It was funny, one of my friends who's way younger than me, he's in some of my old videos, um, although we're calling him by his dead name, unfortunately, because he didn't have like a name yet. Anyway, um, when his wisdom teeth started growing in, he was in my car, like he was getting the pain, so I think I'm dying. And I was like, why? He goes, I just have these, like, headaches. He goes, I think I have a brain tumor. And I go, where are they? He goes, like, they're, like, on the sides of my head, like, coming from here. I was like, oh, that's your wisdom teeth. He goes, I don't think so. I was like, I think so. And I was like, I was like, bite down as hard as you can. And he did it. And I was like, did the pain go away momentarily? He goes, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's your wisdom teeth. How long does it take to make a suit? I can, well, it depends. If you're just making a head, I can make a head in probably three or four days. Um, full suit. I've made, I've made a bodysuit in five hours. It just depends on how dedicated you want to be. <laughs> uh. So, uh, if you want to just work yourself to the bone, you can probably get a fursuit done in, in a day. I mean, there's 24-hour fursuit challenges for a reason. Um, usually there's two people doing those together, though, or they have, like, a pre-made base. But, um, yeah. Well, the rain passed. Now it's gross. <laughs> Okay. Hiccup burp. Did I just hiccup burp? I apologize. Do you do airbrushing? Or do you sew the pieces of fur in? I don't airbrush. I don't have... I don't have any reason to airbrush. I don't think airbrushing looks good on tunic suits unless you're doing like spots like like a leopard or something or um or if like it's a complicated design that you can't sew in like i decided to murder myself and make the um a uh, symbol on on my east butt uh the kanji for love instead of a heart because i hate myself <laughs> and because i love gara too much but like I mean, technically it should be on her forehead then, but we're not going to do that. I'm drawing a lamb in furry form on a white board, so there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. I mean, it's just drawing a furry. That's a lamb. Vor PPP. P, that's not how that said. PFP. If you don't like vor, there's something wrong with you. Someone, okay, fun fact, um, on Tinder, watch your profanity, on Tinder, um, this guy was talking to me, and I had a picture of my fursuit on my Tinder for a while, um, and it was a soft suit picture, so it was, like, kind of lube, and so he, he, like, asked me, like, oh, are you a fervert, and I was like, what, and I was like, what do you mean, he was like, your last picture, I was like, yeah, I'm a furry, but not a, a fervent, like, ew, what are you, what? Um, and then he, he, he started talking about, like, how disgusting furries are in terms of kinks, and then he, he was like, you know, I'm fine with all of them, like, really, I just don't want to look at them, unless it's vor, and I was like, 
what do you have against Vor? <laughs> he goes, it's just disgusting. And then I started sending him, because at this point we were talking uh, over text. Um, but we met on Tinder. But um, I started sending him all the art I've drawn of Vor. And he stopped talking to me. <laughs> If, if, if I meet someone that doesn't appreciate my vor, then I don't want them to talk to me. <laughs> and then actually two days later that dude asked me for nudes, which is like, do I look like someone who's gonna send nudes? Like, really? No. Disgusting. I'm actually ace, so like, absolutely not. I actually don't think- actually that's a lie, I was gonna say I don't think I've ever drawn series 4, but that's an absolute lie. I've drawn series 4 before, but like most of the war I've, I've drawn is like, big old, big old joke. And unfortunately, some of the war I've drawn that like I've been proud of, is uh, with people I'm not friends with or I don't like anymore. Oh no, what happened? What's the appeal of nudes? I don't know, honestly. Let me see your naked body! No thanks. Like, I love bodies, but bodies are also disgusting. Like, I like, like, weird parts of bodies. Like, hands? Yes, please. Tendons? Yes, please. Veins? Yes, please. Ribs? <gasps> yes, please. Like, not even, like, a sexual way. Just, like, I like looking at them. You know? So it's like a nice aesthetic. I like the, these streams because they chill. Yeah. I mean, you can't really see what I'm doing, but like, there's really nothing to see. And I like talking to y'all. Y'all are better than my Instagram crowd. Um, because they suck. But I don't like you, so I'm gonna draw you being warm. Okay? Ribs, really? Yeah. I'm not even ace, but why do you need moods from a specific person? I don't know. You're gonna sleep? Goodbye. Ribs are rad. I agree. Why is the name Barry such a cliche? It's not. Unless you spell it Barry. Because then Barry D. Benson. What about the ribs? Ribs are wonderful. I love ribs so much. I love, like, skinny people. Because of that reason. Like, when you put your hands on their ribs and then they breathe in, you can feel the skin. Hi, I'm Dexter. <laughs> and, like, that's, like, I hate explaining this to people. Um, because, like, like... Because I'm ace, and, like, when I explain to people that I have, like, a weird fascination with bodies, they're like, ew, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, well, nothing, it's just, like, I think it might be an artist thing, because, like, I, I know, like, I have artist friends that are also obsessed with, like, weird parts of the body, and, like, will accentuate them in art, but also, like, I love, like, looking at bodies for anatomy and stuff, and feeling bodies for anatomy, like, feeling, like, like, I don't... Like, I'll do it on my own body, even. Like, feeling like, oh, well, this goes here, like, in that. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just weird. I like veins. Ooh, heck yeah. I do that, but with my hips. Hips are, I like hip buns a lot. I just like, like, take off, take off the skin and, actually, no, the skin makes it good, though. Take off the personality. Just give me a corpse, but, like, make it still warm and alive. I don't know what that means. I like, because when I explain it to people from Tinder, I'm like, I like in the least sexual way possible, I love bodies. I like poking, whoa, where'd it go? I like poking my feet veins when they pop out. I love spines. Heck yeah. Ooh, scapulas. Scapulas are also a fun one. Um,. If you don't know what scapulas are, it's it's um, these bones here. Um, you like belly buttons? I don't. <laughs> belly buttons are gross. They breed so much bacteria. It's nasty. Um, but everyone has their thing. Um, I really like when when um, guys like I had this friend and he used to just let me like cradle his arm and just like inspect it. He would uh, if he um, put his arm down and like clenched his fist a bunch of times, the veins in his arm would just like pop way out and I would just like grab his arm and just like look at it and it was oh it was so great I loved it so much and he had he had really nice like tendons on the back of his um hands too like mine don't stick out a lot 
like like when people do that a lot like you can see their their tendons mine don't or like which one these ones i don't know how to get them to poke out but these ones here you can see my veins but only because i'm so pale like like the veins on my hands too you can only see them because i'm pale but like i guess that's why you can see this i don't know where these veins come from like I don't know how to make them pop out. Actually, it's probably not a good thing to have your neck veins pop out, um, because that can trigger an aneurysm in your head. Fun fact. And you're drawing, drawing bodies in different poses, much more than faces, I agree. I But I only ever draw hot male torsos. <laughs> like, 90% of my, my person characters, my people characters, um... Are, are men. I think I only have one female right now. Yeah, Psychopsy. Actually, I have two technically, but one's not designed. She's a slug princess. I like legs. Oh, you like legs? Oh, oh, that jiggle. <laughs> I have really big, beefy legs, and it's crazy because okay, here's the thing. I have really massive thighs, and like you would when like uh, like I've had so many like nasty people because on tinder i have a full body picture of myself fully clothed like baggy clothes so you can't actually tell what shape my body is but like you can tell that i have big thighs and i've had like guys be like oh i want to squish those thighs i'm like good luck they're not squishy because 90 percent of my thighs are like quad <laughs> like i don't know why because i don't work out but like they're just my quads are so like scarily beefy the only like squishy part of my thighs are my inner thighs like my upper inner thighs <sighs> I like a good pair of legs, though. A good pair of legs are nice. Fun fact about me, just because we're talking about bodies, my body is so weirdly shaped. I have no idea why. It's like my body carries weight in the strangest way. Um, my body looks like Squidward's body when he's eaten too many Krabby Patties. <laughs> Like, I have, I'm not joking. I took a picture of my, because I used to have a really muscular back when I used to, like, work out. Um, and I wanted to see what my back looked like now that it's not muscular. And, um, uh, and so I took a picture of it. And, like, my body, because, like, my body's so weirdly proportioned, like, from, like, you can't see, but from, like, my, my waist up, it looks like a different weight than waist down. Like, from waist up, I look like 150 pounds. Waist down, I look like 300 pounds. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I, I hate it. It's the worst. Because, like, if I lay down, my ribs stick out. But I have massive thighs. It doesn't make any sense. It, it really, it doesn't. Which is why also, like, my collarbones stick out, like, quite a bit. And, like, my neck tendons and stuff whatever can you show that what you're working on this i'm just sewing right now though so there's not much to like show i have one more weft to sew and then i'm gonna get on to sewing the rest of the face Ugh. i'm gonna like claw my skin off it feels like i like there's something poking me i like heavier people other than super thin i don't like super thin people like i like I don't know. I don't really have, like, a type of person, but I do grab, like, in terms of, like, body aesthetics, I do, like, fit guys, but, like, not, like, super muscly, but, like, fit. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, like, their ribs stick out, their veins stick out. Like, everything sticks out, but they're not, like, anorexic, you know? They still have muscle definition, and they still do have a little bit of flab. You know, like, I guess, like, a normal body. <laughs> like, I don't know. If you, if you follow my, my art, uh, my human art, uh, Instagram, you'll know what, like, just the kind of guys that I draw is the kind of guy, like, bodies that I like aesthetically. But, like, I, like, in terms of, like, I, I don't really have a type in terms of, like, because I'm ace, so it's, like, I don't really care. Just as long as, like, the person's cool. Which is, like, a recent thing. And, like, that's okay. That's, I like a guy that work, work, what? That works, I'm guessing you mean works out. But looks lazy. 
I don't really have a, like, okay, the, I was talking with this guy that I met on Tinder, like, on Discord call, because he didn't feel like typing, and I was like, okay, I'm drawing anyway, so we might as well. And he was like, so what's your type of guy? And I was like, I don't know. I don't really have one. He goes, oh, no, you must. And I was like, mm, not really. And he goes, well, why'd you swipe on me? And I was like, I don't know, because you like anime, because I didn't have the heart to tell him that I swipe on everyone on Tinder. I legitimately don't swipe left, ever. I swipe right on everyone. Ow. <laughs> Finger knees. My GF is like super thin and I love it because I like the skeletal aspect of it. That's a mood. My, my ex was like slim thick, so like, they were like super skinny on top, but like big thighs, big butt, and it was great. But they ended up being a nasty person, which sucked. Oh my god, my face is so itchy from this short fur. I hate it. Also this! I'm gonna end up clawing my skin off. It's so itchy. It's probably this shirt. I don't see any like hair in it. Why are my eyes itchy? It's probably, y'all are probably getting itchy from me being itchy. We're all just one big leg. Hi, hey, sweetheart. Do those legs go all the way up? <laughs> what a weird thing to say when, like, catcalling. Do those legs go all the way up? What do you think? No, like, stop at my knees. <laughs> I have a three inch torso. My legs stop right here. <laughs> like what? Why are you? Like how I just read that. Anyway. Um oh that just reminded me. So don't judge me. I know that y'all won't, but like when I get really depressed, I watch My Little Pony and I realize that I never caught up to it. Like I only ever watched up until season five, and I never watched season five, six, or seven. So I I watched it. I watched you know, wherever I had left off last, which was, like, you know, halfway through season four. And I watched the rest, and there's a, there's a full-on episode, first off, there's a full-on episode about a cult, pretty much. Which is, like, is a pretty big plot point. But also, there's a full episode dedicated to Big Mac doing drag, basically. I was, I was flabbergasted. The whole, the whole episode. I'm working with Shag for and I'm dying. Why? I work with Shag for all the time. Am I working with it right now? I am! This, this, this is Shag for. My ex, oh, my ex used to be a fluffy marshmallow, but he turned out to be a narcissistic liar and pretended to love me for a year and a half. But it's okay. He realized, he helped me realize how fragile and gay I am. That's a mood! I was, I was with my ex for, uh, I don't know, nine months. And, uh, he wouldn't work out problems with me, which, like, sucked because I would try to talk to him and he would just be like, I can't talk about it, I can't do it, and I'm like, you need to talk about it if we, if we want to be healthy, we have to talk, and be like, are you just gonna yell at me, and I was like, I'm not, <laughs> now I'm yelling, but... And then I, I was, I was like, I can't do this. It's taking such a big toll. And I was like, I was like, I just need a break right now. And I fully intended on, you know, getting back together with him. And then he blocked me on everything. And I was like, okay, we see what kind of boy this is. <laughs> like, it was, it was crazy. Cause like, I was trying to talk to him and he was like, talking like, like I had been like the worst person to him. And like, if I had been, he never told me. Which is the problem. Communication is our biggest problem. And it's like, I told him, I was like, if you have a problem with me, you have to tell me. And I would go to him every time I had a problem. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'd make excuses. And I'd be like, okay, whatever. This <laughs> is <laughs> the worst thing ever. <sighs> That's, this is why I, I have no problem with dropping people out of nowhere um, who I like talk to for months and months uh, if they live far away because I... It, I just, I don't have, I don't know, but, um, uh, also, I can't do long distance anymore because of stuff like that. Wait a second. Oh, I'm so stupid. Whatever, that's gonna be kind of janky.
Quick rant about my ex. Oof. Ouch. I hope you guys heard that. I have one more. I can feel it. It's not happening though. Fun fact, my my like these muscles, like I don't know what they're called, but the, the ones that are here are like so crazy beefy because of how much I sew. Like they feel like rocks. <laughs> and they hurt a lot because I don't stretch them out and they're just like full of lactic acid. Um and it gives me migraines. But like they're so beefy because of it. <laughs> like if I had like actual guy anatomy, they'd be like boof. <laughs> But I don't. <laughs> Actually, I'm happy that I don't for that aspect because I can't stand when guys have super muscular necks and then they just look like they have no neck and it's just like head, shoulders, knees, and toes, you know? <laughs> what exactly is stag fur? I'm guessing you mean shag fur. Um, it's just a type of fur. It's called luxury shag. It's like cheap fur, but I don't I don't understand people's disdain for it. I have no problem with it. Like 90% of my first off is shag or punky muppet, which is pretty much shag. Um, but yeah, I have no problem. Oh, because that's the thing people, people, um, people will. That's like why fursuits are nuts because, um, people have such disdain for shag, so fursuits are made out of way more expensive furs now so it's way more expensive to buy supplies for a fursuit which is why i still use shag because it's like uh. there's so there's like nothing wrong with it you know it's just it's just a fur it might not be the softest when you shave it down well, that's pretty soft. Bug GG commissions. I do art commissions, but I don't do fursuit commissions anymore. They stress me out. I, I'm i When I'm done with my queue, I might think about and One of the personal projects, I should say. Depending on what my situation is at the time, I might take on another commission. But it would be from someone 18 plus only, um, because I don't do work with my, my, my minors anymore. Um, and... What's the rest of that sentence? Oh, and it would be only- Ooh, my face is getting really flushed. I don't know why. I'm probably thirsty. But, um, and it would only be for a design that I like. Um, because I don't like doing commissions. I don't like doing, uh, designs that I don't like, obviously. I'm making my head different than others. Good for you. Do you remember when good for you was an insult? I do. Oof, I wish you would make my character. I can't find anyone to make her. You're older than 18, and I like your character the night, eventually. And if you have the money. Because I hate when people, I hate when people are like, yeah, I want to commission you, and I'm like, okay, and then I open commissions, and then people are like, I don't have money. And it's like, well, then why did you ask to commission me, honey? Is that how this works? Ooh, why are these? Oh, it's just the first piece. You're a super young fur. That's okay. I joined the fandom when I was 15. But I had a job and everything, so like, I joined the fandom and immediately bought stuff for my first fur suit. Because I was like, I need ten. That's six. Uh, you know what? I should I should line up in number order. One. Oh, that's seven. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I didn't still have a left on this. Said I'm technically, but I'm not technically over eighteen. What? I'm not super young, but I'm not technically over eighteen. Okay, if you're not technically over 18, then you're not 18. There's no technicality to it. Um, which means you can't commission me. You can commission me for art, but not for suits. Because 
Miners can't legally enter a contract, and miners can't legally have a PayPal, which means either you'd have to be using your par parents' PayPal, or you'd have to illegally have a PayPal. I don't want to share my age, but all I will say is furry since age 9. Okay. Ugh, I have a headache. I grew up when I was 14, and I've been here for a few years. Same. Like I said, 15, now I'm turning 20, so almost five years now. I joined May of 2014. No, 2015. No. 20, yeah, 2015. No, I couldn't have been 15 in 2015. It must have been 2014. Wait. Was I older? Because in 2015, I would have been 16. Oh, no, I must have turned 16 in 20. No. How old am I? 2098. So 2015 plus two years. I was not 17 in 2015. I did not turn 17 in 2015, did I? No. Wait, that would make sense. I'm having an existential crisis. I'm way older than I thought I was. <laughs> Wait, that wouldn't make sense. I've been making fursuits for three years, but I've been in the fandom for five? No. I've only been in the fandom for three years. Why do I always say that I joined when I was 15? I was 16. Turning 17. Wait. Yeah. Wait. This is why I dropped out of high school. <laughs> Literally, math. Um, I was born in 98. So 2015, I would have turned 17. I joined May of 2015, so I was 16. I was 16 when I joined the fandom. Yes. Yes, because I was 15 when I moved out here, then I turned 16. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I that was a whole bucket right there of, wow, okay. I'm sorry. What are people saying? Uh, I used to think I was bi back when I was 12. I didn't even know there was other things as other genders or other sexualities when I was 12. I used to call myself straight. Same. I used to be a straight cis female. Fun fact. Boy, has that changed. I actually came out to my sister recently. And she was like, yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> Which was pretty lit. She goes, yeah, I don't really care though. Like, she's super accepting and I, and I appreciate that of her. Like, we actually had a whole conversation about gender and sexuality when she was here. And like... She was like really respectful and like because i wasn't out to her at the time when she left and went back to florida i told her but um um she was like because she doesn't she didn't quite understand trans issues like dysphoria and all that she didn't quite understood how it worked and so i explained it to her without outing myself although i gave her a hint because like like because i i said like oh like cis people and she goes, what is cis? And I was, so I was sitting in the, uh, on my bed, looking at her in the mirror, because we have a full mirror there. And I go, you are cis. But I didn't say that I was cis. <laughs> my fam thinks I'm straight as a board and homophobic, but I'm like, gay as heck and pretty gosh darn it. Yeah, that's a mood. Um, um, my parents, okay, it's really weird, because my parents are like, I mean, my mom's Canadian, so she doesn't really count for being a liberal, because she's also super racist, because she's Canadian. Anyway. Um, my dad is, like, super liberal, but is super transphobic. It's crazy. Like, when, when, like, one of my friends, because when they first met him, he was going by she, her, and had a female name. But then he transitioned, and my dad continued calling him a her, and by his, you know, dead name. And I was like, I explained it so many times, he goes, eh, eh, eh. But, like, it's like, if you're gonna be super liberal, then why... Uh, Why be transphobic? That, like, negates... I don't know. 
messed up parents. I hinted to my parents that I'm not completely straight, but they have no idea I'm trans. That's a mood. Um, I actually came out to my mom once, and she yelled at me, actually over text, uh, she yelled at me that, over text, that it was a disease, and that I was going to be wasting my life, and wasting a ton of money, and that she wouldn't pay for it, she wouldn't let me use her insurance, even though it wasn't her insurance, it was my dad, so I got kicked off the insurance for a couple years, um, and it was only until this year, when my dad got a promotion, that I was let back on the insurance, um, so that was what it, but it's like, it's, it's not a disease. It might be, um, a mental health problem, but it's m most definitely not a disease. That would be like calling HIV a, uh, like mental illness. It's like, no honey, that's not how this works. I'm missing a piece. I'm missing two pieces! <laughs> okay, that's eight. So, okay, no, here's ten. I'm missing one piece. Okay, so, ah! Okay. So, I'm missing multiple pieces. <laughs> what is going on? This is three. Oh no, that is three. This is one, two, so one, two, three. This is four. So I'm missing a piece of four. Oh god, and of course it's like the time. Where did it just come from? Why did it just. Okay, I'm not missing a piece anymore. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Oh boy. All right. So, so two together, and then. Okay, and then we're gonna have to jump to ten. Then, then 11, 12, 13, or maybe, uh, I don't know. No, you know what, let's, I should have sewn one side together first instead of sewing up the middle. Uh, how do I do this? Um, let's just sew together one side first. I don't know what y'all are saying, I apologize. There's a mental breakdown over my cat knocking salsa onto your sketchbook, that sucks. Yeah, don't make, don't make being gay a contest. It's just weird. One of my bug paintings fell down. Oh god, bending down is hard. Okay, piece of foam on it. Bug painting. 
I need to like paint myself and then just hang it with my other bug painting. <coughs> cough gave me a headache. My family doesn't know I'm having a mental crisis because I'm transgender and I don't want to have to explain it to them because they won't understand the struggles. Yeah, they won't understand the struggles because they're cis, but if you explain it to them, they can probably help you. Like, my problem is, like, my parents have, like, they said, I had, like, a really bad mental down the other day and because of some things that happened which i can't talk about but um um they said that they've been trying to help me for years and like have been trying to get me to go to a therapist and when they say that they mean last year they tried to get me to go to an outpatient program which was basically something like aa but for people with mental health problems which uh won't help me because i can't open up to a group of random people um <laughs> that's like literally all they've done to try and help like that's not trying to help me for years and then so my dad's way of trying to help now is he <laughs> he brought me this big packet of therapists that I can choose from like like I, like it it has so many pages wait let's actually see 24 pages of therapists like that's gonna help me yo let me just look at some names and choose because like here's the thing i need a gender therapist because i need someone who's qualified to give me oh qualified to give me a letter of recommendation for for uh hormone therapy um which a regular therapist is not because they're not qualified to help people with dysphoria um, and gender problems. And the thing is, a lot of gender therapists aren't good regular therapists. I had a gender therapist and she was a good gender therapist, but she was a terrible regular therapist. Um, and I, I would have kept going to her, but I had to stop because I couldn't afford it because I lost my job. But, uh, yeah. So just having a list of names isn't gonna help me. <laughs> like, they're like, we're trying to help you, and my dad comes home and throws this at me, and it's like, okay, thank you. Thank you for <laughs> 24 pages of names. You might as well print it out, you know, oh, it's 24 of something. <laughs> I have three therapists and they all tell me I'm crazy. That's a mood. Also, why are your therapists telling you that you're crazy? You should stop going to them if you're if they're just telling you that you're crazy. Because obviously they're not a good therapist. I had a, a my 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 therapist that I went to um, completely uh, like I told her I was like yeah I hallucinate and she was like oh so how do you cope with that and I was like I don't. She goes so it seems like you know how to deal with it well and I was like. <laughs> no, I don't actually. <laughs> and then she just stopped talking about it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> she was extremely validating for, for my gender issues, but extremely invalidating for my other issues, which were way worse. But that's okay. At the time I had money and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try and start tea as soon as possible. And then my job was like, peace out. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, never mind. Whenever I bring, but the voice is my, okay. We're not gonna talk about this. That's, this isn't the time. Ooh, as the stream goes on, I feel like I look worse and worse. I used to have a therapist for my family issues, though I'm not one of those people who bottles up my- Oh! Though I'm one of those people who bottles up my emotions. I ended up being removed from her and never had a therapist again, which is unhelpful for me. That's a mood. 
I had, I went to the psychologist at school, um, when I was in school, back when I lived in New York, but other than that, never really did anything. <sighs> let's, let's talk about something different, because this is not something that I want to talk about in my stream. You're friends with Majira Strawberry? Good for you. That's not someone I'd want to be friends with. Party's been deleted. Guys, it's Majira. No shade, but all the tea. I've actually Skyped with Majira a couple times, and I had a friend who was, like, obsessed with him, and it was, like, creepy. And, like, I remember he took screenshots of it, and then, like, edited it, like, 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 screenshot, or no, not screenshots, he took pictures of him, like, cuddling against his iPad, being like, good night, my sweet strawberry prince, because Madeira uh, fell asleep on Skype. And it was, like, really creepy. I also used to be friends with Kiro, so, like, maybe I have a bad judgment of friends. I don't know what people are saying. What are your thoughts on Peloton? She's cool. I had a really cool conversation with her at, uh, at, um, at AZFC 2016. We should talk about Shane Dawson's documentary. Um, I have, I have some thoughts on that. He's milking it. Uh, he's, uh, and, and the therapist, wait, is that the right word? No. Wait. And the, the, uh, therapist, I can't do quotes, I'm holding a needle, but, like, she's, okay, she's an eating disorder therapist. Not a therapist qualified to diagnose a sociopath. She made, I mean, she and Shane's editing made sociopaths look like the worst people on this planet. And it's, it, it's so messed up. She, a therapist, should not be saying to, you know, people who have mental illness that they're scary, that they're bad people, that this, that, the other thing. And it's not just her in Shane's video. On her own channel, she, there's a dead ant on my leg, uh, she was calling sociopaths bad people. And it's like, first off, she got all of her information from a book. She, like, all of the information she, she gave Shane was from a book. N not, not from her expertise, but from a book. While, yes, books are a valid source of information, it means that she's never worked one-on-one, -on -one. she's never therapied a sociopath for being a sociopath, for, for having antisocial personality disorder. I don't know. I just, uh, I just... Uh. And then the entire internet went into a frenzy afterwards, being like, am I a sociopath? I don't have emotions sometimes. I must be a sociopath. And it's, like, completely invalidating mental illness, just like how the movie Split did when it came out. <gasps> oh, God, I can't stand it. Mmm. God, that tastes like cough medicine when it's warm. Oh! I'm gonna keep drinking it, though, because... I don't want it to go to waste. What do you want? Why are you saying my name like that? I don't need to answer questions if I don't want to. If you, even if you if you keep asking them, that makes me want to answer them less. Just FYI. Why do you like the movie Split? I mean, that, like, sure, go ahead, but it, it completely demeans dissociative identity dissociative identity uh, dissociative identity disorder and it makes them look like murderers and it's like why like like 
it's like it's like how Shane portrayed sociopaths in his one of his whatever part of his documentary series docu docu series. Split Split wasn't focused on a sociopath. I mean, technically, I guess so. I guess I guess um, the guy had sociopathic tendencies, but the main thing was that he had dissociative identity identity disorder. Which is a complicated thing as is. Like, not even medical professionals really know how it works. They just know that it's a coping mechanism for trauma. It's a complex side effect of severe PTSD. Um, but just, uh, the way they just, they, they just, they, they portrayed it was so bad. So, like... Not a fan. Ooh, why do I have a sore throat now? <laughs> Someone's making noises outside my room. I feel like my face has been getting more and more flushed. Like, more than usual. Okay. I'm hearing lots of noises. Outside my room. What time is it? Usually people are asleep, huh? Yeah, it's 11.30. I've been on stream for two hours now. Nearly. Yeah. Does anyone know why Bug starts these live streams so late? Because I have things to do during the day. I'm a busy boy. It's 2.23 a.m. where you are. That sucks. It's 11. Whatever. I probably have a sore throat from inhaling all that fur. Prob also, because this is the most I've talked in weeks. So my throat's probably like, ah, give me a break. I've like gone full social recluse, so it's like, I haven't talked in a hot minute. Like at my, <coughs> at my interview today, my voice just like, I started like losing my voice halfway through the interview. Like you're the one that made me a furry. Oh. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm dying. I need water. I'm not just the uh, soda that tastes like cough syrup. I'm on a sneeze. <gasps> no, I'm not. Is that turning you on? Watching me gulp water? Um. What was I doing? I was sewing. You were 10? I'm sorry. Which means that... <coughs> well, that means that you're max 13. If you were 10 when I made you a furry. What do you think about Rias? Or however you spell his name? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so much older than you. That's upsetting. You were born- oh god. I can like vividly remember the year that- the year that you were born in. That disgusts me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't control that. I was in- let's see, if you're four- if you're 13 and you're born- that means you were born in 2005. <gasps> oh, I can- I- that's the year that I moved to New York. Ew. 
I was like a functioning human at that point. It grosses me out. I had a friend who was born in 2003, and like, I I was I was so disgusted by it all the time, cause like, he grew up with a lot of the things that I did, because, you know, he, first off he had an older sister, but also, um, like he was born just at the end of like early 2000s era, and like, oh it oh it disgusted me so much. I was like I was like. <gasps> I can vividly remember. I remember turning the calendar to 2003. <laughs> okay, I was so weird. Let me get back to that. Instead of complaining about... Like, I I turned into a... Like, a Gen Z hating... Like, old person. Like, so quickly. Because I hate current memes. I hate most of the current memes, at least. And, like, I hate how kids act nowadays and i say nowadays and when i was your age <laughs> like i hate it so much you got my birth year wrong okay whatever like does it matter i don't i genuinely don't care you got my birthday wrong no my my age wrong by two years so. I feel like you guys should see what I'm doing instead of just like, I'm just sewing though, so it's not like super interesting, but I feel like y'all deserve to see. Uh -oh. I'm doing a blanket stitch. Just so so y'all can see what it looks like. I act like a literal old person for my age, so I don't really care. Okay, we'll be the judge of that. So far, judging by your comments, you act your age. <laughs> and that's not an insult, I'm just saying. I looked like a, a 12 year old when I was like seven or eight. It was crazy. I found a picture of me from either second or third grade's like school picture day and I posted it on my Instagram a little while ago. Um, um, and I was like, how old do you think I am in this picture? And most people thought I was like between the ages of 11 and 14. It was crazy. so much but i can't fix it now i'm stupid okay i guess we'll sew four and six together now Okay. Your arm is falling asleep. I apologize. My legs were falling asleep before, and now my butt is like slowly starting to fall asleep because this chair is not comfortable. 
because I've had it for three years, and so the kush has gone completely out of it. Oh, I know why. Mm. Oh no, where is it? Oh no. Oh no! Oh! Oh, it's down there. Okay. Ugh. Sewing, it's gonna be a pain. Okay, turn it on low. Air circulation. Everything hurts. I can't. God, that's crazy. I can't see that far to my screen. I love your spike piercing. It's not a spike piercing, it's a taper. It's just, I don't have a, a thing to go in it. I also lost one of my O-rings today when I was, um, when I was, uh, taking, um, what's her face? Terabyte on and off. Which sucked. I mean, I have a ton of, like, other ones, but they're too, like, they're small, so they get, like, stuck in my ear. I actually need to size up. It's, like, that time, but I just can't afford tapers right now. Um, I don't even know what size this is, which is a problem. I am hoping that I created an account with the place I bought it from so I can check my order history. Because if not, then I have no idea what size this is. It's either... It's either a... It's either a 4 or a 2. I don't think it's a 2. It seems too small. I think it's a 4. Um, I have two holes on this ear. I recently, I pierced my second hole myself on this ear. Um, I mean, technically it had been pierced ages ago, like three or four years ago, but it had been completely closed up. Um, they'd be able to tell you by looking at it. I order them online because I only order one. I can't just buy one in the store. Plus, there is no they. <laughs> I don't go to a piercer for it. I do it myself. Um... It'd be dumb to go to a piercer every time you, uh, you stretch your ear every time you sized up. Because it's, it's not, it's not like piercing your ear. It shouldn't hurt to size up your ear. There just should be, like, a slight, small pressure. Otherwise, then it'd be problematic, which is actually why I can't stretch this ear. I used to have both ears stretched, but I did it way too fast. I went from a 14-gauge... Uh, to a zero in like six months, which it should take about a year and a half to get from 14 to zero. And they got like mega infected and like the infection started spraying to my brain and I was like dying and it was like super crazy. <laughs> and uh, I had to take them out and let them completely heal, completely close up. This one ended up not closing up all the way. This one, it just closed back down to like an 18 gauge, which is like, a normal piercing size. Um, this one stayed at like a 12. So, so I started stretching this one. I tried stretching this one again and it completely rejected and got like super infected again so I just don't stretch it. Um, although I don't mind the look of having one stretched here. You've had your daily dose of bug. Okay, good night. Many people can't handle two hours of bug, so I commend anyone who's been here for two hours. I can't even take two hours of bug. Too much. So 
like, I know you can get stretcher things from piercing shops. Well, yeah, you can. They're called tapers. Your dad drinks a lot of soda and you're angry. <gasps> That's a mood! My mom got Clementine San Pellegrino, which is a flavor I'd never even known existed. All I drink is San Pellegrino, pretty much. Fun fact. Um, it's so good. People say it tastes like vomit, but it doesn't. It's so good. Um, maybe I just like the natural taste of soda, or of, of fruit soda, rather than like syrupy, whatever flavor orange soda is, because it's definitely not orange. It's like. I don't even, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my mom bought uh, Clementine San Pellegrino. I put, I put two of them in the fridge. And I drank one, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a second one with dinner. And I go to the fridge, and it, the can was in the recycling. I was so angry. I was, I was, oh, I was so angry. And now there's none left. And now there's only an orange one, and then the one that I'm drinking, which is... This one's pomegranate orange. Which apparently tastes like cough syrup when it's cold. Or, no, when it's warm. Uh, orange soda doesn't taste like oranges, but it sure does taste like the color orange. Yes. I like fruit drinks because fruit is artificial. I'm drinking peach flavored sparkling water. Are you drinking LaCroix? My mom bought these drinks called Bubbly, and like, I drink them like they're LaCroix. Like, it's, it's like, um, it's like, um, I love your person. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? I, oh, yeah, Bubbly. So it's like, it's like budget LaCroix, and it's like, well, I don't like, I don't like LaCroix in general, but like they're it's it's sparkling water that tastes like a hint of a hint of fruit. And there's the the apple one and it tastes like oh my god, it's so gross. It tastes like if you put a apple jolly rancher in water for like twenty minutes and then took it out. It's so oh and then carbonated it, then shot it through a soda stream. It's so gross. It's so gross. But, like, I still drink them if there's nothing else to drink, or, like, if I if I need, like, bubbles, you know what I mean? And, like, oh my god, this is so gross. But, like, I just, ugh. Ugh. Oh, I'll drink, like, half of them, though. I can only stand them when they're cold. Like, I'll drink, like, half of it, and then just, like, let it sit somewhere until it's flat. But I don't have to worry about pants ever either. Like, I, I, at one point, I had, like, because, uh, when I was sick, I was drinking a ton of them because of the bubbles, because I, my stomach was hurting. And, um, um, I would drink, like, half of them when they were cold and then just set them in my bathroom because that's where the sink was and I didn't have, like, the energy to walk all the way out to the kitchen to dump them out. So I just set them in my bathroom. <laughs> and then they would just sit there for, like, a week. I like how we're complaining about soda water. I agree. Raise your hand in the chat if y'all are one of those people that says pop or soda pop or just calls all soda coke. I am not one of those people. It is soda. Although I'm from New York, so I say water weirdly. I need to make like a chart. I need to make like a like a, a not chart. I need to make like a list of all the the, the uh, words I say weirdly. I mean, I just know that the letter R doesn't exist in my vocabulary. Like in my in my most recent video, it's the funniest thing. You can tell in the first part of my video, in in the um, in the first part of my video, I'm like trying to keep up with Armie's character, and then in the second part when like because I lost, I, we didn't have oil, and then I had the oil. <laughs> it's like full on New York accent. <laughs> so like, you can see the difference of like when I'm when I'm trying to not have a New York accent versus just when I talk. 
Because when I just talk, it's like, it's it's there. And I'm surprised when people are like, I don't hear your accent. And it's like, are you dumb? Because I can hear it. Just li you've got to listen for the keywords, like word. The, the R isn't in the word, word. Like if I were to say it like a normal person, word, right? Word, word. Is that how normal people say word? Word. Word. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> it's like almost my bedtime. Today you've got to admit an accent. I'm from Long Island, so I should have an accent. If I didn't, I would be upset. I mean, okay, I've only lived in California for three years. If I, if I didn't have my accent anymore, then I'm not a true Long Islander. Although technically I'm not because I was born in California, but I grew up there, so you know. I did all of my schooling up until ninth grade in, in New York. I honestly miss New York. It's like, I, I wish I could live there again. It's so great. It sucks here. Long Island iced tea is good. I've never had Long Island iced tea because that's like basically like just like a ton of liquor and then like a shot of iced tea. <laughs> I think one of these two, right? I don't know. So that's a that's a half and half. That's that's another thing. No one when I moved out here, I I would like my friends would be like, like I would talk about because I I have an addiction to Arizona drinks, like um, like the tea, and so uh, um, I was saying how half and half are my least favorite, and my friends were like, what? like the cream and I was like no half and half they're like cream and I was like no it's half iced tea half lemonade they're like oh an Arnold Palmer I was like no it's half and half you uncultured swine because <laughs> that's what that's what I grew up calling it it's half and half it's not, it's not all or all, 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 all I can't even say it all or, nope all, Arnold <laughs> Ar, nope Arnold Palmer Yep. Some dude that golfed. I don't know. Oh, I finished. <laughs> My family is real southern. My accent goes from not used to. It. Oh, oh, oh! Speaking of accents, because I'm half Canadian and my mom's Canadian like full-on Canadian like there's like a few select words in my vocabulary that are like full-on it's half and half not whatever you just said exactly um but uh there's some words in my vocabulary that are full-on Canadian like about uh house anything with like ow in it except for the word ow because when I start saying like ow it doesn't, it doesn't happen like if I say, oh yeah, uh, about that, <laughs> like, I can't control it. I, I fully can't. And it's I never lived in Canada. The only Canadian person I've been around my entire life is like my mom for an extended period of time, or like my grandma when she was alive. But like other than that, like I've like I don't know. But also because I have like British grandparents and a Canadian mother. Mo the way I spell a lot of things is the British way of spelling things. Like, I'll, I sp spell realize with an S. Uh, I'll, I'll spell favorite with a U or color with a U. And it's just like... I, I don't know, it just, it just happens. I can't control it. I actually get called out for, for spelling things wrong a lot. And it's like, no, that's how it's spelled not the way Americans do it. You uncultured swine! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a turning over. Americans are rebels. That's true. He's in the imperial system. What a 
dumb system. I write things in numbers. That's like synesthesia. When I was younger, I had synesthesia with writing, and I feel like it was connected with my, um, with my, uh, dyslexia, because I would always write, I would always write fives as sixes in the color black, but I would write them normally if I was writing in blue. I don't know why. I don't have that anymore, though. Inch, inch away. I think I'm gonna end the stream here soon. As soon as I think I said, uh huh. I think I'm gonna end the stream here soon because uh, it's getting near my bedtime, and I don't want to. I don't want to go past my bedtime. I went past my bedtime last night because I was really anxious for my interview today, but like. Um, also, I worked a lot today, and I'm, I'm tired. I had, a, I had a lot to do today, and I have to start doing tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I hate being alive. <laughs> but, like, I'm sure y'all could tell. Like, I'm sure if you, like, watch this back and, like, look at me at the beginning of the stream, I don't look nearly as corpsey as I do now. Because I feel a heck of a lot more corpsey, you know? I feel like half the time I just look like a corpse. Like the bags under my eyes are like so intense. Well, I'm like really punched over. It's not good. <laughs> I don't know when that happened, but I just like, I guess slowly started to move over. I'm really bad at me, that's what makes my shoulder muscles so like, <laughs> you know? Uh, okay. Oh, the headache's setting in now. Mm -hmm. It's time to end the stream, but as soon as I finish this bitch, even though y'all can't see it, I just throw it in the cheek marking. I want to have this entire face done by tomorrow. Ow! And then, uh, or not by tomorrow. I want to finish sewing the face tomorrow, and hopefully, <gasps> oh, hopefully, the mouth is well. The mouth and movie. Mouth is another one. Mouth. Anything with like, O oh, U in it makes my Canadian come out. Come out. Wins one on either side. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> you? No. It has to be like in the pronunciation of Al. I went through this already. Also, I think I got a new freckle on my lip, because now I have one on each side of my cupid's bow, and it's been distracting me all stream. Fun fact, when I got this freckle, this one, I remember when I got it. I remember when I got a lot of, like, a lot of my freckles, because I didn't used to have freckles on my eyelids, and now I do. I remember when I got my first freckle on my lip, which is one down here. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when I got this freckle right next to my mouth, it's like slightly darker than the rest and I remember someone was like you have chocolate on your mouth and I was like are you saying that because I'm fat <laughs> and I like wiped my face and I know they're like oh, it's still there and I, I like looked in the mirror I was like that's a freckle I was like are you saying that because I'm fat <laughs> like 
Why would I have chocolate eggs in my mouth? Like, it was just like a completely like random day too. And I'm actually really conscious about not getting food like all over my face. Like, it grosses me out when people have food all over their face. I'm like, how did, how did you do that? You're nasty. Your mouth isn't, isn't that hard to miss. Is it like, what? Are your mouth is, is, is your mouth that hard to miss? Like, what is, what is it doing? Also, fun fact, I scraped all the skin off my nose here by bashing my face on the bottom of a pool. So now, um, like, I have my, like, permanent freckles there, but if I were to get, like, go out in the sun and get more freckles, just the entire bridge of my nose, like, right here would turn brown because the skin's thin there now and it's, like, scarred. So instead of, like, getting balls of pigment, it just turns brown. <laughs> Which I guess is how skin is supposed to work. <laughs> but not mine. I don't tan. Actually, technically I do. I wonder if I still have one tan knee. So, when I, last year I was driving a lot, so, and I would have my, my arm, like, on my leg, on the steering wheel, so it would get tanned right here. It would burn first, and then it would tan. And then I would wear shorts, and so my knee got burned and tanned right here. So I had one brown knee, one brown arm, and then white everywhere else. And, like, when I say brown... I use that term very lightly. Like, maybe, like, it's still, my, this arm is still slightly darker, but, like, maybe, what is this line? What is this? Are my veins? I don't see that in real life. Oh, yes, I do. What? <laughs> I used to have really bad farmer's hands because I'd wear big shirts like this and then spend like literally hours in the sun. Well, actually, less big shirts. It would be like up to here. And it would be like hard line and just like pure white and then like brown. I'm sure I still have some variation of a farmer's hand. But we don't take my arms out for the lads anymore. My thighs don't come out for the lads anymore either. That sounded like I was calling you dumb and the person said, what are you talking about? You put on a head. Uh, I guess so, but I'm sewing right now. Actually, I'm not going to finish this stitch. Well, I'm going to finish where, how much, I'm going to finish this stitch with this thread. Uh, which is right now. And then I'll probably first your head for you. Because, yeah. blow something away and just fur. I haven't worn Kiki in a hot minute. Let's put it on. Ugh. Oh wow. There we go. Oh she has such a bad blind spot, I forgot. What? I'm like you pale and weird bod. I'm just pale and fat, same. Um, genius. I know. I, I, was, <laughs> I was originally gonna do the cooking video with her, and I was like, that's a bad idea. Because our baby didn't have a neck, and so I literally made a neck in like 20 minutes and then filmed the cooking vid. I actually figured out that I could like tie up her ears. Oh. Okay. I'm tired. Okay, I'm tied for ears <laughs> so they're shorter. I'm like less in the way. The earrings that I pulled out earlier are for her. I want a giant stuff in too. I get one of those like giant bears from Costco. There we go. Always wait in the world. I'm still waiting on pause for her. I, I ordered them like 
a couple weeks before I got the head, and the person said that it would be done, like, in a month. <laughs> and I've had this head since, like, August now. I had a message though, because of that. You're getting headaches, same. I got a headache. I'm gonna end the stream now. Look at this. Cute. Um, I'm just taking them off. I actually leave these off, like, because I'm scared of losing them. <sighs> Alright. Goodbye. Good night. For I think everyone here is nighttime. Uh.